Well, ladies and gentlemen, well, 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 it is week number two of the college football season. It is finally here. The AP poll has come out today, and, you know, we got some we got some good stuff going on in the AP poll. We have Georgia Tech entering the top 25 with Florida State dropping completely out, you know, after another terrible performance by the defense and DJ Uilagalele in the game against Boston College, in which Boston College basically behind the legs and the arms of Treshawn Ward and Thomas Castellanos, basically kind of blow out Florida State. Not really, but technically it, 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 looked, it felt like that. That's what it felt like because Boston College dominated the game by running it down Florida State's throats and throwing up shark HB wheels throughout the entire game. It was real funny. Bill O'Brien, funny guy, funny coach. I mean, I mean, let me you look at the standard in Alabama and like it, and like even when Alabama, you know, even when Alabama fans were like, "Oh, he's holding us back," he still got y'all like ten wins a season somehow. Even with his offense, you know, not being the greatest, but he may have just stepped it up this year. With the way with the way I really liked Boston College's play on Monday night, USC LSU another great game. Miller Moss and Garrett Nussmeyer going to war, and ultimately, it's Miller time. It's Miller time at USC. Both teams surprisingly had some real good defenses in this game, although there were some questionable play calls. Georgia dominates Clemson in the big Affleck kickoff game in which now we're questioning, hey, can Dabo Swinney, you know, can he can he can he get guys from the portal? Like like seriously, Kate Klubnik is not that guy. He is not him. Um Georgia of course looking like a well oiled machine. Again, Carson Beck now has uh, you know an army of backs, an army of receivers. I mean it's just it's just a mess, man. It's just a mess. There's a reason why Georgia is ranked number one. Just an absolute mess on offense and defense, like in the best kind of way. Just an absolute unit. Texas looked good. Michigan was okay. I mean, Davis Warren and Alex Orgy, you know, split up time. But I mean, they didn't pull away from Fresno State until very, very late. Oregon only won by 10 against Idaho. Again, Idaho dropped down to FCS a few years ago, and Dylan Gabriel put up this monstrous stat line, but he only threw for two touchdowns. He threw for basically 400 yards and only put up two touchdowns. That's sad. Um, Tennessee looked good. Nico, Nico looked good. He looked good opening week, but again, it was against Chattanooga. So, like, that doesn't impress me at all. NC State will be the opponent for Tennessee this week. It will be in Charlotte, I believe. I believe that game will be in Charlotte, North Carolina. And it should be an interesting one to pair up with Deion Sanders, the Colorado Buffaloes, the very much overrated Colorado Buffaloes, who have, you know, you know, just they they are really using that win against North Dakota State as leverage, really, to be completely honest with you. Like, I don't know why. The only you know, they barely won that game, and it, it's it's insufferable already. And Nebraska, you know, trying of course to renew hope in themselves, they're trying to renew hope in themselves under a new quarterback, a new quarterback. You know, kind of looks like, you know, a certain guy. Kind of looks like a certain guy. Kind of looks like Patrick Mahomes a little bit. But ultimately, um, Dylan Raiola, of course, and we're talking about him. He he, he played a pretty good game against UTEP. He played a pretty good game, of course. Now he's going up against a porous Colorado defense. I'm talking a defense that looks absolutely dreadful. At times, just a dreadful defense, man. Just a dreadful defense. Um, Diego Pavia and the Vanderbilt Commodores won a game in overtime in one of the wildest games. I think, you know, 
we've seen in quite some time. The crazy thing is, is that it involves Vanderbilt. <laughs> it involves Vanderbilt of all teams winning that game. And of course, we know from the last couple of years, you know, Diego Pavia is legit. He played down in New Mexico State, transferred on over to Bandy, and he's a legit bona fide stud. He can play, he can play, he can play some damn good football, I'll tell you that much. And you know, yeah, there was some kicking errors in this game, of course, but ultimately Vanderbilt won a game, you know, a non-conference game that you know, you know it was crazy Northwestern opened up, you know, basically I think it's at their lacrosse stadium, you know, their lacrosse field where, you know, they didn't have, you know, the super big bleachers and everything because, you know, their old field is getting, you know, refurbished, demolished, whatever. It's crazy. Um, Oklahoma looked like a well-oiled machine. Texas, again, looked like a well-oiled machine. Um, Drew Aller and those Penn State Nittany Lions. Oh, my goodness. They beat the brakes off of West Virginia. Like Aller's performance, Nick Singleton as well. Absolutely magnificent performance. Iowa scored points. I know. They're playing Iowa State this week. So, El Asisco. Is going to be lit this week. It's going to be a lit, lit week for that game. It's going to be at 2.30 on CBS, of course. Um, Alabama looked pretty good. A&M should have never been ranked. I don't care. Connor Wigman, he is not him. You know, Riley Leonard and company, they did their best on offense, even though it wasn't much. But that defense, like I told y'all, like I told y'all last week of Notre Dame's, Telling you that defense is legitimate. Absolutely. Just whoo. Jackson Dart. Ole Miss. They put up 76 on Furman, but that doesn't impress me at all. Again, um, yeah, it was just unimpressive. Um, Arizona, you know, Tata Ora, McMillan, and I'm probably butchered his first name, but McMillan. Had a absolutely monstrous performance. Ashton Janty for Boise State had a monstrous performance. A lot of again, Boise State is a lot of people's pick for that group of five spot, including myself. And again, week one was an absolutely good time for the most part. I'd say I tuned in for maybe the first you know couple hours of the day. Definitely kind of you know waned down as we got into the afternoon, but ultimately you know I picked things back up when. When it came time to games like USC LSU or Florida State losing again in prime time, of course, I coupled the Florida State game with some volleyball, which I'm going to be covering more on this channel. And you should have seen the posts from last night that says I'm going to be doing a volleyball video later on this month. It will either be Friday night or Saturday morning. So, you know, again, either or we'll, we'll figure that out when we figure that out. But okay, week two, week two of the college football season. Again, we got some interesting games going on. We only got two top 25 matchups, though. But we got some interesting games going on. Hudson Card, Syracuse taking on Georgia Tech in the early window. Texas, Michigan is the big game. It's the big one. Number three, Texas versus number 10, Michigan. A Michigan team that looked a little bit suspect at times, you know, allowing Mikey Keene to make some passes that, you know, you wouldn't expect him to make, although Fresno really didn't do anything offensively. It's just the fact that that stuff was there. And then, you know, guys like Donovan Edwards did not get going, so they had to get other guys in the game to get it going on the run game. And for Texas, boy, they look like a well oiled machine. Isaiah Bond, I mean, you know, just Quinn Ewers, Arch Manning even came in against Colorado State. That defense is looking like, 2009, 2005. It's looking like the prime Texas defenses again. And this should be a really good defensive matchup. But again, it's going to come down to the Michigan offense, I think. And, you know, a lot of people don't want to admit it, but Michigan has to figure it out, you know, who the quarterback is going to be. Um, the run game, you know, obviously they got a guy, you know, in the backfield, you know, by the name of. Uh, um, by the name of Mullings, who just absolutely went ham on Fresno State with those. He nearly had 100 by himself, but at the same time, 
you know, something has to give with the quarterback game for Michigan. That That's really the biggest question coming out of this game is who's going to be the quarterback. A lot of people are saying, well, it should be Alex Orgy's time. Some people are saying it should be Davis Warren's time, you know, but who knows? But the majority of people are saying it should be Orgy, you know, Warren did not impress too much at all against Fresno State. So Arkansas, Oklahoma State is another interesting game. That will be on ABC. Um, Ollie Gordon is back. Arkansas should be an interesting game. It should be an interesting game between these two teams. Again, Oklahoma State, a lot of expectations going around the Big 12 about, you know, teams like Oklahoma State, another team like Utah with Cam Rising and company, you know, still doing their thing, you know, down there in down there in Utah. So this should be – that should be an interesting one in the Big 12. Uh, but, of course, Utah is, you know, right number 11. They're just kind of there, right number 11. I don't know how, but they just are kind of there. Um, being ranked at number 11 right now. So I wonder how this Utah team will do against Baylor. Should be a fun one. Again, pair that up with the Iowa State-Iowa game, the Cyhawk Trophy game. It should be a fun, you know, time in that 2.30 window again. Nico and the Tennessee Volunteers are going to take on NC State in that late window, and again Tennessee put up put up some numbers. Let's see, they put up some numbers, uh, and I, I think I think at the end of the day, you know, I think at the end of the day, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting to see, you know, what what kind of game are we gonna get from from Tennessee? You know, a lot of people are hyping this Tennessee team up. So one would imagine, one would really imagine that that that, that high powered offense, you know, you know that, that high powered offense of uh, Nico Imaliva, you know, and company, you know, it, I wonder how is that offense going to fare against an NC State team that that should provide an interesting challenge. Now, you know, Miami beat the brakes off of Florida. Clemson looks bad. Florida State looks bad, you know, but Grayson McCall is going to be on the other side against Tennessee. And, again, a dynamic quarterback like Grayson McCall, you know, and a pretty interesting room for the Wolfpack. So this should be an interesting game, to be quite honest with you. This should be an interesting one. Again, pair that up with the Colorado-Nebraska game, and you have yourself a good one. Boise State, Oregon should cap off your night. Should cap off your night. You might have to go elsewhere if you can't get Peacock. Might have to go, you know, like, you know, we all know the sites. We all know the sites by now to where you're supposed to go if you don't have Peacock, if you're not willing. You're not willing to fork up the $5, 6 a month to pay for Peacock, and I don't blame you if you don't want to do that. But you all know where to go if you don't want to watch the game on Peacock don't have a peacock subscription but anyway oregon has to prove the doubt is wrong you know there's teams like ohio state you know that struggled for a, quite a bit against akron there's teams like michigan that struggled quite a bit against fresno state but the oregon game is probably the most puzzling to me yeah will howard and company got it together against akron later i don't care it's still Akron. you should not be down three to nothing to akron Will Howard is not him. Let me tell you, he is not that guy. But um, anyway, Oregon, how are, how are you going to do against the Boise State team? That's you know a lot of people are saying, hey, this is the team that's gonna you know this is the Boise State G five rep. This is the G five rep that's gonna come out and, and, and you know get to the playoffs for the first time. It would be so fitting for a team like Boise State to make it to the playoffs, you know. In, in the first year of the 12-team era, it would be so fitting, and they could do that if they take if they if they can take down Oregon. And again, Oregon is tough. They only put up, they only allow 14 points against Idaho. But again, it, it felt like 14 points too many because you know again, Idaho is barely down three 
with like nine minutes to go in the fourth quarter. So, so, Boise State might have an interesting matchup on their hands. If they can keep running the ball, because again, Oregon got caught off guard by some trick plays, by, by some plays that they shouldn't have gotten caught off guard by, I think Boise will, you know, kind of keep this game close. So, that's basically it as far as games go. Again, a lot of games still are, you know, just between teams that aren't, you know, super, you know, you know some of the games are very much not competitive with all the FCS games being played still. Um, it was like no FCS versus FBS upsets in week one. There really wasn't any at all. I don't think there was not one at all, which is unfortunate. Um Again, teams like Kansas State's playing an interesting opponent at Tulane, but Penn State, Georgia, Notre Dame, Louisville, Ole Miss again, you know, Miami, um, Kansas, Illinois could be interesting, you know, um, Buffalo, playing on Missouri, Alabama, South Florida, Ohio State taking on West Michigan. Nichols taking on LSU, just Houston taking on Oklahoma. Houston got blown out by UNLV, by the way, which is crazy. Um, Northern Arizona taking on Arizona. Oh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. And maybe it may be Utah State, USC too, but again, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, Uh, maybe, 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 just maybe App State Clemson will provide hilarity. Clemson is all the way down at number 25, so, you know, that could get interesting very, very quickly. I think it would be pretty funny. So, yeah, again, most of the top 25 is kind of just still kind of, eh, we're not playing anybody important in this new 12-team era, but things should start to pick up. You know, again, by the time Texas Michigan is over, and then things should pick up from there, and then we keep on going after that. So, from me to you, I'm gonna get on the bat of here. We're gonna talk some NFL, and then we're gonna keep on rolling throughout the throughout the rest of the season. Same same deal as the last couple of years, well, last year anyway. When I revamped the schedule as far as making videos goes, but yeah. So what do y'all think about this week? It's going to be a crazy week, too. Um, I'll have another poll up about some of these other games real quick, real soon. And then we'll talk some NFL, have some NFL polls up. So, you know, yeah, Big Boy Sports signing out. And I will see you all throughout the week. Be sure to check out my new Big Boy's Corner podcast. Um, you can listen on Spotify and wherever else you listen to podcasts. Please go give it a listen. I need the monetization. I will say it until the end of time. I need the monetization. I need it. 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 Give it to me. Give it to me. Just give me 100 plays, and we're good. Just somebody play the, play the episode 100 times, and we're good. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get on the battle of y'all's hair, and We'll talk NFL.